a universe of a continuous creation with a developing reality which is centered upon itself at each place of its existence is very difficult to comprehend. A very good way of comprehending this process of continuous creation is by experiencing it ourselves by watching the setting sun and focusing on the experience through the theoretical model of a continuum with the future unfolding photon oscillation by photon oscillation. We experience this process with photon energy from the sun cascading down forming greater degrees of freedom for entropy or disorganization forming the ever-changing world of our everyday life. The same process forms a possibility for ever greater organization that we see in photosynthesis with the future unfolding relative to each tree, flower or even with each individual blade of grass. This is very difficult to comprehend because we are within the process as part of the universe. But there is one scientific way we can have center everywhere, circumference nowhere, and that is if we explain the universe as a dynamic continuum with the future unfolding photon by photon relative to the energy and momentum of each object. We have a universe of continuous energy exchange continuous change because the universe is never at absolute zero everything is continuously radiating light photon energy forming the ever-changing world of our everyday life because light has momentum and momentum is frame dependent every object will form its own reference frame relative to its energy and momentum therefore every object is in the center of its own frame of reference within this universal process of energy exchange with energy slowing up the rate that time flows as a universal process of continuous creation this can be seen mathematically as the time dilation in Einstein's relativity with everything being relative to everything else as the universe expands another way of comprehending this universal process is by looking at the moon the moon can seem like a dead object circling above us shining only by reflected sunlight but in this theory nothing is further from the truth photons from the sun are not bouncing off the moon the way a ball would bounce when thrown against a wall moonlight is created by the moon with photons from the sun interacting with the moon forming photon electron couplings or dipole moments with a continuous interaction of matter antimatter annihilation with the future surging into existence anew relative to the energy momentum and position of the moon this is only logical if gravity is part of this universal process with the outward momentum of light forming the inward force of gravity this might sound far-fetched but it can be seen mathematically with both the gravitational force and the electromagnetic force sharing the inverse square law representing the dynamic geometry of this one universal process the great problem is how to scientifically explain consciousness that unbroken ever-changing flow of ideas perceptions feelings and emotions relative to this universal process this is possible because the photon is also the carrier of the electromagnetic force with the movement of electromagnetic fields and the flow of charge by explaining consciousness in its most simple form as electrical activity in the brain that is aware of its own electrical potential this theory can then place each individual in the center of its own reference frame in the moment of now relative to this electrical activity it is this personalization of the brain that gives us the concept of mind because we are all in the center of our own reference frame we all have our own individual view of the universe in such a universe to be in existence is to be at the cosmic center of a universal creative process being able to look back in time in all directions at the beauty of the stars as the clusters of galaxies expand away from us in all directions 
Because electric charge is an innate part of all matter, we can then think of consciousness as the most advanced part of this universal process, being able to comprehend and measure this process as time. This is a totally interactive process, formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light, represented by the probability function, or quantum wave particle function. The wave particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, forming the possible into the actual. We have an emergent future unfolding relative to our own actions. At the smallest scale, this is represented by the Planck constant being a constant of action in the geometrical process that we see and feel as the passage of time with Heisenberg's uncertainty principle representing a potential sphere of future uncertainty. We observe this sphere as the visible universe, as the stars above us and the objects around us, and we can choose what to observe and what objects to interact with. In this theory, conscious awareness is at the forefront of a universal process, with creation being truly in the eye and hand of the beholder. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.